Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, wanted to walk you through the initial stages of setting up a heartbeat um, platform. When you first come in, they ask you to load up your photo. That's the first thing. This is the onboarding of anybody that joins your community. Um, takes you through, um, this is the admin sees this video here and you can continue to the community or that is a video that you can put in place to welcome people to your community. First thing you wanna do is kinda of look at the integrations here. See they have Zapier and Circle. Um, you can um, import your Circle through a CSV or your Zapier through a CSV. You can kinda of sync them together. Uh, you can sign into your Outlook and your Google Calendar. Now, what you can also do is kind of put the aesthetics of the theme, the color, primary color, background color, logo, then what you do is this is your onboarding process you can say hey these are the questions you can ask right tell me about yourself and then you can have uh you can have where they land when they come into the community and i have mine set up for introductions is when they first come in um and then this is um these are the different uh things that you can allow people to have access to docs events the user directory matchup and anal analysis so on and so forth your monetization, obviously you can link it up with Stripe. You have your API keys as well. That's in there, didn't wanna show that. Um, you can create, you can um, belong to what groups you belong to. This is the administrative roles. You can set those up to see um, what connects, who has what, who can, who's allowed to, whether it's just a regular user or administrator or moderator, right? And so I'm looking at this tool and it's almost as though it uh, reminds me of another tool and I'll share with you at the end. Um, and this is just, you can look at all users and inside there and you can download them as a CSV, right? You can, you can uh, export it into um, your favorite CRM tool if you'd like to do that as well. All right, so next we have, it's my groups. What blues groups do I belong to already? I don't belong to any groups. So the kickstart is how do you get started? It goes to setting up everything um, you can import, you can create your channels, create docs, create events, uh, community theme, and customize onboarding. Those are the things you could do in here when you actually first set it up for the first time. You can go through your threads, you can set up your threads, you can set up your docs right here. And this is where you kind of, before they get the LMS part, you can kind of put your classes inside of docs. Um, you can create up an event here kind of looks like the uh, facebook event tab you can have it go through heartbeat you can have a custom link you can put in here or you can just have it go through zoom um, you wanted to send them out to like an air meet or something else you can do that here as well um, so you can in, uh, integrate your zoom okay that's what you have there and then you have um, matchup directory is just the people that belong to it already with their email addresses and matchups is something different. I haven't really quite understood that. And then you have all your analytics. Where do you need to add the juice to your community? I love that, right? Where is the activity happening within your community? How many people are being engaged? How many people are interacting? Um, and so on and so forth. And again, you can see um, this is good feedback. If you're building a community, you need this kind of feedback and or interaction uh, within your community to try to know what, what your community needs as far as what kind of juice you need to give it, right? Um, and then you have, um, yeah, and it just gives you an overview of the entire community there. Okay, so let me, again, that's kickstart. Again, um, takes you through by the numbers on how to get set up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the threads. These are different types of threads you can set up. Uh, this is a particular thread. It's called the general, and that's basically a general timeline that you'd set up. And as you can see here, you can put in a thread, you can have a chat, or you can have a voice drop in. And I'm going to edit this here. I'm going to put a description to this thread. And this is, let's just call it general discussion about business to business and we'll just call that um and growth so let's just have a general discussion about business to business growth just a channel i'm setting up i can set it as read only or i can set it as a default channel when everybody comes in or this is the default channel within the general um 
discussion. I'm going to put business to business growth. I wonder how many characters can go in here. Business to business growth channel. Let's see if we can say, ah, it only accepts 30 characters. Okay. That makes sense. Didn't want to have a long title for a channel. So let's go in here. Let's remove that. Let's see if that works. All right. Perfect. So now we have business to business as a channel, right? Uh, water cooler is a chat channel. Uh, let's go in here. Let's put something and get the thread started here. Uh, what do you like most about marketing to businesses? All right. I can post that there. I can add emojis, right? I can add gifts and so on and so forth in there, right? Um, so I can start a community like that. Then let's see, I can have announcements. I can create a whole new category. So that category is everyone. That category is called everyone. This category is for business to consumers. I just want to show you how that works. And then we can have a thread underneath um, business to consumer. Let's create a thread or I mean a channel underneath business consumer. So underneath that, we can have threads, we can have chats, or we can just have voice, right? You can create, just depends on how you want to set it up. You have a lot of flexibility here. This kind of reminds me, and I was going to tell you earlier, this kind of reminds me if Yuki and Beam had a baby, it would be Harpy because Beam had the one of the best uh, UIs that I had seen in a long time for communities. And Yuki has a lot of flexibility and uh, integrations, but they're a little bit lacking on the UI, but it's still a strong, powerful community. Um, if you mix those two, Beam and Yuki together, you're gonna get Heartbeat, right? And I think Heartbeat still, they have a couple more things that they wanna do. Let's put this here, discussions about business consumer growth hacks. Let's change the emoji here. Um, these are all the generic emojis. I think there's a setting in here where you can actually upload your own emojis, which I think is pretty neat. Um, let's choose, um, let's see, business to consumer. We have to find some people. Ah, okay. So two men holding hands, no. Two women holding hands, no. Man and a woman, that's just with people holding hands, which is business to consumer. So we just use that there, go create here. And now we have a channel underneath business to consumer, right? And you have these little videos along the way at every single juncture. Let's start to thread here. Uh, this is the business to consumer um, thread. Um, let's see. What is the best way to market to consumers? You can post that here. And um, let's see here. All right. And then, so what I'm liking is this particular tool. Um, does a good job of just connecting you to, um, you know, creating a community from scratch. Um, I like this tool. Um, it has a lot of flexibility and I see what they're trying to do. Um, I have no problems with this tool. I want to do some other things to it. I want to hack into the back of it. I do want to show you how to get into and use it with Zapier. So I may just do that in another video. Let me know in the comments what kind of uh, connections or what other what else you would like to see in this tool and let me know in the comments below and I'll I'll try to do another video for you. Hope all is doing well. You guys take care. Goodbye for now.